Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing these three Dollar Tree Halloween banners. They're so easy and so fun to make, but before we get started, if you guys are new here, please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. All right, let's get started. So for this first craft, you're gonna pick up a pack of these table tennis balls from Dollar Tree, as well as this gingham ribbon, and you're also gonna need some of the Dollar Tree twine. And this ribbon is not from Dollar Tree, um, I think it's from Michaels, but they do have a bunch of options that are just like this. And then we're also going to need some black paint. You will also need some white fabric. So these are just some cloth rags that I already had on hand that I'll be using for this craft. But use anything you have laying around, like an old t-shirt could work really great for this. So I'm just going to be folding my cloths in half and then in half again, I'm just basically trying to make squares. So I needed six squares in total for this. So I'm just cutting the seam here and then cutting the edges off to make sure it's a perfect square because it was a bit of a rectangle. My fabric squares ended up measuring about seven and a half inches. Now we're going to open up those table tennis balls and the table tennis ball is going to be the head of your ghost. So we're just going to take one and place it in the center of your fabric. Then you're going to want to cut a nice long piece of that black ribbon and we're just going to fold the fabric over the ghost head and just kind of pinch and gather it. Make sure there's not too many bumps in your fabric and I'm just going to secure the head with a nice tight bow. Just trim the ends of your bow and you're all done with that. And I'm going to repeat this process another five times for a total of six ghosts. Now I need to make the loops that are going to attach our ghost to the banner. So to do this, just cut a piece of ribbon. You're just gonna tie a knot in the bottom, just pull tightly, and then I'm just going to trim those little extra bits at the end. To secure my loops to the ghost, I'm just going to use a little bit of hot glue. And when you're gluing it on, just make sure that you are gluing the loop the right way facing you. That way when they hang on the banner, they hang nice and straight and not sideways. And the last step to finish our ghost is to give them some eyeballs. So for this, I just dipped the end of my paintbrush into some black acrylic paint and just gave them two little dots for eyes. Once the paint is dry, you're going to grab that gingham ribbon and cut five strips that are the same size. And just grab your twine and you're gonna cut a nice long piece for however long you want your banner to be. And now I'm just going to string on all six of my ghosts. Now for the finishing touch, you're just going to get that gingham ribbon and tie it in a loose knot around your string. That way you can move it back and forth really easily when you have to adjust your banner. And that is it. This is our finished ghost banner. I think it's so precious and it definitely has that Halloween farmhouse vibe. This next banner has a bit more of a rustic look to it. So for this one, you're gonna need these color your own ornaments from the Dollar Tree. They come five in a pack, so I'm just using the ghost and the jack-o'-lantern and that same ball of twine from the Dollar Tree. And then you're just gonna need some paint, so whatever you have on hand, or you can pick up some acrylic paint at the Dollar Tree. So to give these pumpkins a bit of a rustic look, I'm mixing that bright orange color with some brown to kind of mute it down a little bit. So this is gonna be my base color, and then I'll kind of put some more orange into it where I think it needs some highlights. This is how they turned out when I was all done and now I'm just going to move on to my ghost and just paint those white. Now to give it that more rustic look, I'm going to dry brush them very lightly with this big paintbrush and some dark brown paint. 
So I just kind of want it to look worn in spots. You can kind of focus around the eyes or any of the openings. Just be careful not to put too much. And if I did feel like I put too much, I just got a wet rag and kind of wiped some of it off. And I'm just going to repeat that same process on the ghost. And I really love the way it turned out on them. I think it shows up so nicely over the white paint. These ornaments already come with strings in the pack, so I'm just gonna go ahead and knot all of those. Now just cut a nice long piece of that twine and put on your ghost and pumpkins. And your banner is ready to hang up and enjoy. I really love how rustic and spooky this one turned out. This last one is so quick to make, so you're just gonna need to pick up some of these poster stickers from the Dollar Tree. They're on both sides. And you're also gonna need that same twine one more time. And then last, you're going to need some book pages. So I didn't have the heart to cut the pages out of a real book, so I just went to Google and searched book pages under images, and I found this one, so I just printed it nine times. So for this, I needed my pages to be four by six, so that's how big the print is here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim all that extra white off. And I did that for all nine pages. And now I kinda wanna make a duck tail at the bottom for our banner. So to do that, I'm gonna measure to the center. So since these are four inches, I'm just gonna go right at the two inch mark. And I'm gonna go as high up as I want the duck tail to be and just put a little dot. And now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut very carefully from the corner to that center dot. Once that first one is done, it gets easier. You can just stack a couple together and now trace that triangle and just cut it out. Now we're just gonna spell the word Halloween. So start with the H and you're gonna peel off that poster sticker. And to help you get it nice and straight, just line it up, pick one sentence and make sure that you lined it up in the center. And it's a really easy hack to get all the words to line up perfectly. And now the last step is to hole punch it. So if you're using real book pages, you could measure this to make sure that each one is exactly the same. But since I was just using a printed page and it was the same for each letter, I just picked uh, two words that were the same on each page and just made sure I hole punched over those words each time. Now cut your twine for however long you want your banner to be. And when I'm stringing my letters on my twine, I'm just making sure that the twine is peeking through the top. So I'm just going through the back and then looping it through. And that is it. You can actually make this banner in probably five minutes or less. It's so quick and so fun and would be perfect for any Halloween book lover out there. And I just love the aesthetic that it gives. I love the look of several of the banners layered together. I think it really enhances it. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed this craft today. And if you make any of them, let me know below which one is your favorite. And thank you so much for watching. And again, if you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you.